and these compounds due to the donation and thus they are in ionic form always so they are also called ionic compounds because NaCl MgCl2 these are always in Mg2 plus and 2Cl minus form they are not in MgCl2 form so this since they are made up of ions they are ionic compounds now if someone asks you that in Na2O what are the ions present So, what will you write? Na ions and O ions? No. You have to say what exactly the ion is. Like in NaCl, you have Na plus and Cl minus. So, in Na2O, you will have not 2Na plus mind it right just Na plus because Na plus is the ion present they are not asking how many are present in one molecule just write Na plus and don't write Na2 plus because of this 2 Na will always become Na2 plus this 2 is because oxygen needs 2, mo two ions of Na the charge on Na is not 2 and oxygen now don't write oxygen as O minus because it's just one oxygen write it as O2 minus oxygen will always become O2 minus so these are the two ions present the positively charged ion is Na plus and the negatively charged ion is O2 minus now these ionic compounds because of their ion ions present in them have some very characteristic properties out of which the first will be hardness hard because you know these uh, sodium chloride if you see it's not like very elastic if your salt if a grain of salt it's quite hard and hard does not mean that you cannot break it it means hard as well as brittle it's not soft to touch not like your pencil lead which is very soft which is carbon it's hard hardness means that they have strong forces or you should write strong electrostatic forces electrostatic forces means positively charged ion negatively charged ion positive will attract negative so these two will be attracted and thus this Na plus and Cl minus will be bound by strong electrostatic forces. The electrostatic forces means the force between the plus and minus charged ions. So they have this strong force and th this force is very strong. You learn that it is in the order in, in a they are quite high they have a quite high magnitude so they are quite strong and that is why this molecule of NaCl is bound together now I I have told you that this Na plus and Cl minus exist separately but the strong electrostatic forces bind them together that means they don't exist actually as NaCl but they exist as Na plus and Cl minus bound together that means the N, the two ions are very close in their solid state in their solid state minded here 
in the liquid state they they can wander away because there are other ions so they can attract the other ions also so due to the strong electrostatic forces they are bounded together and the molecule is generally that is why it becomes hard and also they are brittle brittle again because of this strong electrostatic forces due to these forces if you try to break them they can or you can say they don't el elongate before breaking if this is a grain of sodium chloride it will break in one go it will suddenly break that is the meaning of brittle brittle does not mean that it can break easily lots of things can break easily but that doesn't mean that they are brittle brittle means that they can break in one go generally this hard things they can break in one go or they don't you know you know this uh, suppose you have a very hard some rock so if you try to break it will will you i mean will it like elongate or will it uh, deform or something before breaking no you'll not be able to break it in like one go as such but it breaks without elongation unlike uh, something like something like rubber you you take this rubber and stretch it it will break easily but it will break with a lot of elongation so brittle things are those which break in one go or break without deforming much very less deformation they have and that that is due to this strong electrostatic forces you start suddenly break the forces and they just break okay next is the property that they have high melting point and boiling point now you will see that you can never you can't really melt common salt which is sodium chloride because it has a very very high melting point and the it that is also due to this strong electrostatic forces It means strong electrostatic forces they attract the molecules two molecules and keep it close that means that nacl and this nacl these are present in ionic form so these molecules are generally very close to each other because the cl attracts this na this na attracts this cl so they become very close so it's very difficult to separate them and for that you need to break this electrostatic forces between two molecules and that is also the reason due to hardness that is sorry i it was not between na plus and cl minus it was between two molecules of nacl this attracts this this attracts this other molecules are attracted so they just form a very close packed structure which is very and the bonds between these two molecules is very difficult to break so in melting point what do we do that we try to separate the molecules out i mean make the distance intermolecular distance higher so if this becomes higher so uh, the that means the state will tend to change but here due to this strong electrostatic forces between the molecules you you cannot make them go far apart you need a lot of energy to make them go far apart and that is why they have this high melting point and boiling point
that is also due to the same reason then you have solubility they are soluble in water all are soluble in water but they are not soluble in solvents such as petrol kerosene all these type of oils they are not soluble because why are they soluble in water because as soon as they go in water the ions just separate out and now na plus goes away cl minus goes away and the ions they come in between the water molecules and that is why they disappear from our sight because they just go into the between the water molecules so they are soluble due to the formation of ions and fourth is there conduction of electricity 